Live from Newfoundland. Today I am here with Miss Earhart. Why are you here today, Miss Earhart? I'm here today because I want to try and attempt the, f the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic. So, where are you flying to, Miss Earhart? Hopefully, Paris, France. Where are you from, Miss Earhart? I am from Kansas. This is Ryan Freed reporting live from Oak Grove TV. Miss Earhart, how long do you think it would take you to? do this? It will take me about 14 hours. How high are you going to fly? My goal is 20,000 feet. Good afternoon here. It's Corey McGinnis here on NBC News. I've got Amelia Earhart with me. So Amelia, are you nervous? I'm excited. Excuse me, but I have a flight to catch. Oh, bam, darn she don't get on it. What's that sound? It sounds like a plane. to tell my husband that I arrived here safely? Sure. Here. Look. Here. He's my son. Oh, thank you very much. Hello, hello? It doesn't seem to be working. Is there any post office near here? Yeah, sure. I know for you. Come on, quickly. Let's go. Use your phone, or because our no, phone's not working. Yeah, sure, use it. Use it. 
It's my husband. I've done it. Although I landed in the pastures outside down dairy. Operator, operator, can you put me through to the Associated Press in London, please? Well done, Miss Earhart. Your country and the whole world is perfect. Well, thank you. This is Governor of Massachusetts. Well done. Well, thank you very much, Governor. This is President Hoover. Well, hello, President Hoover. Congratulations on your solo flight across the Atlantic. Well, thank you. I'm very proud of myself. Hello, Mrs. Earhart. This is New York Times. It's New York calling. <laughs> really? Oh, New York Times. How wonderful. <laughs> how long was your flight, Mrs. Earhart? It was 14 hours and 56 minutes. How far did you fly, Mrs. Earhart? It was 2,026 miles. Wow, I think that could be a new world record, Mr. Hart. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. <laughs> Amelia was forced to land by gasoline leakage. Amelia was the first woman to fly across the Atlantic. She had a safe descent near a cottage at Springfield using a rail track as a guide. And then she landed in a field of dairy. This is the Associated Press of America. Well, hello, this, it's very nice to speak to you. How was your uh, flight? I ran into a severe storm. Really? Was it dangerous? It was the most severe I've ever been in. Neighborhood opinion and so called common sense. That is an Atlantic. I flew the Atlantic because I wanted to. To want in one's heart to do a thing. For its own sake. To enjoy doing it. To concentrate all one's energy upon it. That is not only the surest guarantee of success, it is also being true to oneself. 